2 o'clock, and uh, both teams, are, or the defense is already on the field. Batters in the, in the circle getting ready. And uh, Caleb, you got the, the lineup for the Kennedy Lions quickly? Yeah, we'll try to get that in real quick. We got 1, 2, 3, Daniel Pena playing center field. Carson Reyes at shortstop. David Salas in left field. Then we have 4, 5, 6, Ryland Reyna pitching tonight. Owen Garcia at first base. Waylon Barnes at center. At catcher, excuse me. LJ Barrientes at third base, Raiden Reina in right field, Darian Moreno, DH, and then Ryder Hartsfield at second base. And yeah, we are starting a little bit early tonight, so we won't send it back for that extra break. And hold it here. This is two nights in a row now that they started about five to seven minutes early. Yeah, it always throws us off our, our yeah. timing a little bit. <laughs> our Beck Zimmerman digs in, batting from the left. Side. Flat tender Bulldogs are face Ryland Reyna on the mound tonight. He's got a 10 and 2 record across 60 and two thirds innings pitched. He's got 81 strikeouts with a 2.242 ERA. Zimmerman shows bunt but pokes it foul down the third base side. Zimmerman won for three last night. Single and reached on a walk as well. Drove in a run in the first game. Two hits in the series for Zimmerman so far. Looking to get the Bulldogs started quickly here. The 0 1 skips in there for a ball one. It's 1 1. Winner of this series will go on to face the winner of the Johnson City and Burton series last night. Johnson City victorious in game one, 15 to 14. Zimmerman takes the ball in, it's two and one. And currently in game two right now, it's Burton 12-4 in the, that was the final in that one. So they're about to start game three shortly after. Zimmerman pops that one up. Out of play into the, just over the stands here behind us. Count even at two. This is the third three game series that Kennedy has had to play in the playoffs. The first round they played Agadolce. Victorious in game three, five to four in that one. And then last week against Ganado in the third game of seven to one. This is Flatonia's first third game in the playoffs. The 2 2 pitch upstairs. Count full to Beck Zimmerman, the leadoff hitter for the Flatonia Bulldogs. Another good crowd out here tonight, Caleb. Yeah, definitely a pack. Not as much as I think last night, but we might see that fill out. The payoff pitch low to Zimmerman. Zimmerman draws a walk to lead off the ball game. Titan Targot's two-hole hitter to the plate now. Targot's playing center field last night. Was on the hill for the Bulldogs last night. Had a complete game shutout, throwing 15 Ks. And there's an impressive outing from Titan Targots last night. The Texas A&M commit. First pitch from Reyna to Targots. In there for a called strike. Also, unlike the last two nights, this is a much windier outing. Yeah, wind blowing in, so it's going to be tough to uh, tough to get one too deep. Yeah, that wind coming in around 12 to 13 miles per hour from the north, and the way this field is set up, that's kind of pushing towards right. Titan Targaryen swoops that one out to right field, going back, back with foul. That one actually hit pretty well out there, it but did, yeah, it traveled just about 10 feet off the foul line out there in right field. And I think that one was going foul all the way from the moment it left the bat, but it did push right even further because of that wind. That wind, of course. Right Nothing at two to tar Titan Targach. Beck Zimmerman down at first after a leadoff walk. Off attempt down to first. Zimmerman back in time. Defense behind Reyna down at first base. It's Owen Garcia. Playing second is Ryder Hartsfield. Shortstop is Carson Reyes. 
Third base is LJ Barrientes. The pitch upstairs. Up. Beck Zimmerman goes and he's out at second. Caught stealing. Good throw from the catcher, Waylon Barnes. To erase that leadoff walk. And there's one away now for the Bulldogs here in the top of the first. Yeah, I knew once that ball came out, Zimmerman was going to be caught up. Yeah, he didn't get the best jump, but still, that throw was perfect. And the rest of the defense in left field, it's David Salas. In center field, it's Daniel Pena. And in right field is Raiden Reyna. The 1-2 to Targots. Chases that one down and out. Drop third strike, throw down to first in time. Two away here. Hot start for the Kennedy Lions. Yeah, that caught Steelers got to get some momentum too. I mean, you, you gave up the leadoff walk, but now you're facing the third guy in the lineup with two outs and looking for a clean inning. Staten Cliff, the third guy. Shortstop tonight. Cliff 0 for 2 last night. Was hit by a pitch and walked. Came around to score on that walk. That was in the seventh. First pitch to Cliff. Low and in, ball one. Sun's starting to peek out a little bit now. Yep, it definitely is. The wind kind of settled down just momentarily. Yeah, at least in our area. Those flags out there in the right center are still whipping. 1-0 count and two outs. Pitch a bit low to Dayton Cliff, 2-0. Three twenty down the lines here. Three forty-five to the power alleys and three eighty dead center. Cliff takes that one for a call strike. Two and one. Four. Excuse me. Go ahead. Four officials tonight. Third different behind the plate. It's a slow chopper. Stays fair. Oh. Just kidding. Yeah, just foul. That one looked like it was good. It looked like it didn't go foul, though, to hit off that third baseman's glove. I could be wrong, but. I believe the third base linesman over there did call it to be foul. And the but last strike is two and two on Dayton Cliff. Cliff slow getting back to the batter's box. Catch a Waylon Barnes. Goes about halfway to the mound and then retreats back. Last two nights we saw the, the strike zone a little bit wider than we're kind of used to seeing, so we'll see if that follows suit. Yeah, some uh, calls that look questionable from our standpoint. We were on the closer to the first base dugout last night, and now we're directly behind home plate. That one high and inside. Ball three, full count now. Camden Bozo on deck if Cliff can keep the inning going. Payoff pitch. A bit outside. Ball four. Second walk of the inning allowed by Ryland Reyna. Two quick outs for the Kennedy Lions, but also two walk batters this early on. It's got to get suits figured out. Yeah, I said I was going to try to keep a pitch count earlier, but uh, it's tough when they don't have it on the scoreboard out there for us. I know he had to go six to at least both Zimmerman and Cliff, so he's probably at 15 already. He throws that one out for a ball. 1-0 count. Bozel sharply hits that one, but pulls it foul on the first base side. one one on Camden Bozel. The lengthy first baseman for the Flantonio Bulldogs. We did see him take a couple practice pitches in the pregame, so it's possible, if needed, we might see him later on in the latter half of the game. That one jumps in there and actually hits Bozel. Yeah, hit by pitch. I guess it barely grazed him because he had almost no reaction to it. I know it, it bounced and then hit him. I don't know if that's uh, considered a hit by pitch, but... Uh, I believe that should be dead ball. 
but he is at first base. Runners on first and second now. Two outs in the inning. Chance for Reese Ramirez, the 5 0 hitter, to drive in a run. Dayton Cliff standing on second. Ramirez had a decent night last night, two for four. Single in the second, came around to score, and then a big two run double in the fifth. First pitch to Ramirez, swing and a miss. Grounded over to the left side of the infield. Third baseman comes charging in and puts the tag down, but they call Reese Ramirez safe. I don't know if he was in the, the batter's path. I don't know. I guess so. Coaches are going to come out and discuss that one with the officials. Because the tag did land before he got there, but he could have been in the path, preventing him from a clear run. And he, Bruce Ramirez was pushed over down at first. Yeah, he did fall and stumble, but coaches are talking this one over. Last night's game ended a little bit nippy as there were some questionable calls and there was a player thrown out at the end of it. Yeah, I think the, the first baseman is going to come, uh, or the first base umpire is going to come confer with the home plate umpire. Actually, all the umpires coming in now to discuss. Kind of feels like we picked up where we left off. Call stand safe. So that juices the bases. Top of the first two out rally. Yeah, I already got some action going here, and our base is loaded. I guess he scored that error on the, the first baseman. I don't know if he. I guess you have to. He gave. He gave it up. That one low and in the zone. Low in the zone. Excuse me. That's the right ball. Kelly Netska, the third baseman, to the plate. That one ripped out to left center. Daniel Pena giving chase and makes the grab. Yeah, that's important right there. On the run for the third out. So base is loaded with two outs. Yoneska flies out to center to end the scoring threat for the Bulldogs in the top half of the first. We've completed a half inning of play. Still scoreless from San Marcos. We'll be right back. Tonight's playoff game on the NFHS Network is produced by KTIM Multimedia in LaGrange and underwritten by Tony Jones Insurance, Oviedo Auto Dealerships, Fayette Savings Bank, JD Sports Grill, Chuck Brown Ford in Schulenburg, TFE Companies in Brenham, Colorado Valley Communications, Round Top Real Estate, LaGrange and Giddings Family Health Centers, Round Top State Bank, Audio Video Plus in Schulenburg, Allied Contractors in Schulenburg, Brawley Dental in LaGrange, the Schulenburg Athletic Booster Club, and HEB in LaGrange. All right, welcome back here to San Marcos. Seth Eckhart joined alongside Caleb Chattery giving you this play-by-play -play action for this 2A Region 4 Regional Quarterfinal game between the Flatonia Bulldogs and the Kennedy Lions getting ready for the bottom half of the first inning. It'll be 1-2-3. Daniel Pena, Carson Reyes, and David Salas to the plate. They'll face sophomore Beck Zimmerman. Zimmerman with a 4-0 record, 24 and a third innings pitched. He's got 50 strikeouts. 
and a 1.73 ERA. Zimmerman was catching the first two games. A little bit of a different uh, defensive uh, look now for Platonia as uh, Zimmerman goes to the mound tonight. Reese Ramirez was at third for the first two games. He's catching. Kale Yanechka now down at third. Dayton Cliff at short. Camden Bozel still at first. Luke Law back at second base. Law was in right field last night. Now he's uh, back at second where he was on Thursday night. Yurio Manzano still in left field. Titan Targach in center and Keyshawn Green in right field. That's the defensive look for the Bulldogs here in this decisive game three. Trip to the regional semifinals on the line. First pitch from Zimmerman to Pena in there for a call strike. Good pitch there, grazed the lower half of the zone. The one. That one inside. One and one to center fielder Daniel Pena. One one from Zimmerman. Upstairs. Two balls and one strike. Pena one for one last night. Reached all three times. He had a single and then two walks. That one chopper back to Zimmerman and Speedy Daniel Pena. No chance for for Zimmerman to make a play on that one and be an infield single to start the home half of the first for the Kennedy Lions. Be a slow chopper that kind of in the in between pitcher's mound, catcher catcher and third base, and really a long run for everyone and the speed that Daniel Pena has. No chance to get him. Parkson Reyes, shortstop to the plate. Calls time. We did see a meeting at the pregame between the coaches and umpires really deciding what time was going to be called because last night we had a few issues where they stepped out thinking that they had time and it was a strike. Yeah, we saw a few of those. Definitely later in the game, chopper over to short. Throw down to second in time, and then throw down to first. Not in time. They get the lead runner, but can't get two. Daniel Pena took out Luke Law down there at second. Allowed him uh, not to get much on the throw down to first. And the last uh, fielder's choice. One away, runner still at first. David Salas, left fielder to the plate. First pitch, pops it up, foul out of play. Salas 0 for 3 last night. A couple strikeouts and a ground out. Still looking for his first hit of the series. Game 1, he went 0 for 3 as well. Did reach on a walk. Nothing at one from Zimmerman. A bit upstairs. Down even at one. Zimmerman looks down to first. Comes from the stretch in there for a called strike. One and two. More action in this region. Shiner and Weimer, they're playing this afternoon. A doubleheader if necessary. Bumper wrapped up a series with Harper. They swept them two games to none on Thursday. And of course, the winner of this one will face the winner of Burton and Johnson City. That one ripped out to right field. It's going to get down for a base hit. Keyshawn Green plays it on a one hop, gets it back into the infield pretty quickly. Carson Reyes down to second, and David Salas with his first hit of the series. It's a single out to right field. So one out, runners on first and second, cleanup hitter 
Riley and Reyna, the pitcher, to the plate. Reyna showing bunt, pulls back. Takes first ball upstairs. Showing bunt again, pulls it back. That one in there for a called strike. One and one. One one. That one popped up, drifted to the right field line, foul territory. Keyshawn Green makes the catch. Both runners tag up from first and second, and they'll be in safely at second and third. Yeah, that one popped way high in the air and just keeps drifting right. I think that one could have landed if the wind had not been in play, but it pushed it well outside the foul zone. Yeah, most definitely. Keyshawn did a good job tracking it and making the grab out there in foul territory. He really didn't stop running from the moment that he took off. <laughs> he was going all the way until it landed in his glove. So now two away. Be Owen Garcia, first baseman, five hole hitter to the plate. He's got two runners in scoring position. Takes first pitch upstairs to 1 0. Garcia, left handed batter. That one popped up, drifting foul. Kelly Aneshka gives it a look, but out of play. Over towards the softball field. It's one and one. Simmerman looking to get out of this two out jam. Runners on second and third. Carson Reyes and David Salas. One one upstairs. Two balls and one strike. Two one swing and a miss. Count even at two. Two two pitch from Zimmerman. Swing and a miss. Zimmerman fans Owen Garcia to retire the scoring threat here in the home half for the first. We've completed one, still scoreless from San Marcos. We'll be right back after these quick messages. All right, welcome back here to San Marcos, getting ready for the top half of the second. Still a scoreless one here. In the first, both Latonia and Kennedy had runners on second and third and stranded them. We're still scoreless. It'll be six, or excuse me, seven, eight, nine to the plate for the Bulldogs. Yuriel Manzano, Henry Vincic, and Keyshawn Green.
Weimer and Shiner in a tight one. Still scoreless heading into the sixth. They had a similar game on Thursday. They were scoreless heading into the seventh before Shiner broke it open with seven runs in the seventh to win it 7-0. Burton and Johnson City. This, uh, that'll, that'll be who the winner of this one faces. Burton victorious in game two, 12 to four. So they'll play a game three. Johnson City last night won game one, 15 to 14. Swing and a miss, 0 and one count. Pitches in and swung Gonzano on. Gonzano lifts that one out to shallow center. Daniel Pena coming in, but it drops in front of him. Base hit to lead off the top of the second for Yuri Manzano. Didn't get a lot of it, got enough of it. And for a second, it looked like it was going to hang up long enough for Pena to get there, but drops in and uh, Yuri Manzano with a base hit. Henry Vincic, designated hitter, right-handed batter, steps in. Vincic shows bunt, puts one down the first base line. That'll move Mantano over. Oh, and the first baseman drops the ball before the tag's on, and Vincic going to be safe down there at first. So he did his job of advancing Mantano over, but he also reached after that error on the first baseman. Couldn't have worked out better. That was perfect. What was that? Couldn't have worked out better. Yeah, it's a little bit loud again. We got the crowd of Kennedy right behind us. They're beating on drums and everything. <laughs> They've got Home Depot pots and they're they're wailing on them. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun atmosphere, but it's a little loud for us sometimes to hear each other. So no outs. Runners on first and second now for 9-0 hitter Keyshawn Green. He shows bunt. That's a good one, and he might beat that out, but throw down to first, or excuse me, third to get lead runner Manzano in time. Pitcher Ryland Reyna did a good job getting there quickly. And the only play was at third, and he did a good job of getting it over there to get the force. First down in the inning, and runner on first and second. Top of the lineup, back up, and Beck Zimmerman. Time called. Batter steps back in. First pitch. A little low. Oh, one and oh. Zimmerman walked back in the first. And there was caught stealing. Chance to help himself out on the mound. Base hit can drive in one. Pops that one up. High pop up into right field. Right fielder comes in and fields it cleanly. Runner from third, tagging up, and oh, he would have been out, but the third baseman dropped it. It gets, it rolls all the way to the wall out there. Yeah, third base coach wailing, waving his hands around, telling him not to go, but I don't know if he would have ran, ran for that one. That could have been a close play at home. Yeah, Vince, it didn't look like he had a lot of speed coming from second. He would have been out easily if uh, that third baseman would have held on to it down there. And then with that play, runner advances Keyshawn to second, so runners on second and third. Probably the smarter play to hold them up there. Score that one, uh, E5. Titan Targonch, first pitch to him. Flies it out of play down the third base, or excuse me, first base side. So Henry Vincent standing on third. Keyshawn Green standing on second. Chance for Targots to drive in a couple. The 0 1 to Targots. Not sure where that one missed. Maybe a bit outside. It's 1 and 1. The scoreboard looking a little messy already with some errors. I believe we got three errors already on Kennedy, if I'm correct. Targots fouls that one back out of play. It's 1 and 2. Ryland Reyna looking to work out of another jam. Got to have a bases loaded jam in the first. One, two to Targonch. That one outside, two and two. Looks like they were trying to get him to chase that one there. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two runners on on second and third. 
Pitch on the way. Targets fouls that one. Out of play over the first base dugout. Big gap out there in left center. Center fielder shaded way over to the right. He's in the power alley. He's way out there. Wow. Ryland Reyna with almost a, I mean, that was a good pitch. I don't know where it missed. I guess a bit upstairs. I don't know, maybe. He, he had a big wince on his face. Like, that one should have gone. That one, look, now. that one looked perfect. Count full. Payoff pitch. Chopper over to Reyes at short. Should be an easy play. And first baseman diving. It comes off the bag. The foot, the tag not down. They're going to have another meeting over here. The first baseman did lay out full extension. He was on his belly by the time that glove hit his, by the ball hit his glove. And they're going to say, they're going to say he was out. Kennedy going into the dugout. Um, coaches from Flatonia meeting. Yeah, Titan a little bit. still standing on first. He thinks he was safe. Yeah, he's going to stay there until they make an official calling. The confusion here, everybody leaving the field to the dugout. First base umpire called safe, but I believe the second base umpire said that he was called out. So they're going to have to confer here. They are meeting. Already some questionable calls in the, the first here. Yeah, that one's a little tough because he was fully extended. He looked like he belly flopped to try to grab that ball. Yeah, it was a big first. stretch, and uh, I don't know if he caught it and then came off. And I mean, if he did, he must have just been an inch off of the bag. That was a close one. Coach for Kennedy trying to settle the fans oh, down. Oh, it's called safe. And that'll is. be two runs in. Man. Two runs in. Flatonia taking an early lead. 2-0 with a controversial call. And again, Kennedy fans and staff not happy. So... Still some arguing going on here, trying to figure this one out. John, I think I heard you talking to me, but it is awfully loud. I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's uh, ar visibly upset. I mean, he's got to be. I mean, it's one of those close plays that could, it definitely changed the trajectory of the game. And that's two runs across now for the Bulldogs. Definitely. So let's reset it here. we got a runner on first. There's going to be another time called, and he's going to talk to the pitcher, have all the infield come in. So when we come back, it'll be runner on first. Two outs in the inning. Two across the plate for the Two Bulldogs. Across the plate. Looks like the official from third is going to come over to the scorer's table. So is the home plate umpire. A lot going on. I don't know if they're questioning that, that second run. Not too sure. Everybody but I mean, Keyshawn Green came across the plate. I mean... Yeah, everybody back out on the field. Kennedy setting back up. Officials getting back to their positions, and I believe we're ready to get this next at-bat in. Once again, a lot of confusion here. Runner on first. Platonia two up now after that controversial call. Two outs in the inning. It's important here for Kennedy to not let that get into their heads. It's only two runs. I mean, not, not ideally what you wanted there, but. Yeah, that one a little inside. Ball one. And I mean, it's got to be John, no matter what team you are, to go through all that. Go back into your dugout, assuming that you got him out, regardless of the call that was made at first. Slow chopper right back to Reyna at the mound. Toss over to first in time. So that's three away. Not before Fontenot. They play two, courtesy of a Titan Targa Jim Field single. We've completed an inning of a half. It's now Flatonia 2, Kennedy 0. We'll be right back.
All right, welcome back here to San Marcos. Getting ready for the home half of the second. It'll be six, seven, eight. Waylon Barnes, LJ Barrientes, and Raiden Reyna to the plate for the Kennedy Lions. Barnes steps in, batting from the right side. Waylon Barnes went 0 for 3 last night with a three strikeouts. Home plate umpire calls time. There's some catcher's gear outside of the dugout on the Kennedy side. They got that back in, ready to resume play here. Batter steps in the box. Barnes 0 for 6 in the series, four strikeouts. Swings and misses at that first pitch from Beck Zimmerman. Zimmerman worked, Zimmerman worked out of a but, uh, second and third jam in the first. The 01 skips in there for a ball. Batter takes his position in the box. 1-1 one, one count to come. Swung on and hit. Makes its way to shallow center field. And it drops in there for a single. Yeah, a little bloop single there. Just off the, the infield grass. About 10 or so feet and uh, enough for it to fall. Final from Rice Consolidated. Shiner 2, Weimer 0. So Weimer, or excuse me, Shiner will be on to the regional semifinals. They'll face Mumford. It's the bottom half of this region. Time called is granted. LJ Barrientes is the batter. First pitch outside, ball one. I'm just noticing something interesting about the Kennedy uniforms too. It looks like the white undershirt is an undershirt. It's not part of the jersey. The, the maroon is a mesh top that goes over. I don't think I've seen that before and <laughs> just now noticing it in the series. Kennedy, the home team again tonight. They were wearing the all whites last night. Now they got the, like you said, the maroon tops, white pants. What's under the away team? Black tops, white pants. Pickoff attempt at first, no good. 1-0 count. Make that 2-0. That one just a little low and away. Barrientes, two for six on the series. A couple singles and four strikeouts. The 2-0, that one a bit outside there. The 3-0 pitch, runner takes his lead off of first. 3-0. That one in there for called strike. Caught the top half of the zone. 3-0-1. 2 7 0 hitter LJ Barrientes. Three one. A bit low, it's a it's a walk. So it's first two runner or batters reach here in the Home half of the second for Kennedy. Ready to rain that eight hole hitter to the plate now. First pitch pops it up, drifting foul over towards the first base dugout. It gets out of play. Reyna has been batting in the, the nine spot, but uh, last night we hit an ejection in the game, and uh, the players ejected, they can't play the next game. That was Aiden Castillo who's ejected. So 0-1-1 to Raiden Reyna. 
Throw down to first, the second, pick off. Wow. That, <laughs> that was, was a bang bang play. He is safe. But that couldn't have been any closer, I don't, I don't think. What was that? I don't think that one could have been any closer. No. 0 1 count, runner still on first and second. No outs in the inning. So they, nine. Nine hole hitter Darian Moreno designated hitter to the plate. Swings at that first one, 0 and 1 now. It's his first first action of the series for Moreno. Swing and a miss at that one. Pretty intense spot to come into the game. <laughs> Bases loaded. No outs trying to make something happen. The 0 2. That one in there for a strike. Moreno goes down looking for out number one. Big strike out for Beck Zimmerman. Still got bases loaded with one away. Top of the lineup back up and Daniel Pena. Pena with an infield single to lead off the ball game. Looks like he's going to lead off the home half of the first for the Lions. First pitch, slow chopper right back to Zimmerman. Zimmerman going to go home with it in time. Smart play there from Zimmerman. That prevents the run from coming across. And All Ramirez had to do was just step on the plate. Didn't have to get a tag down since there's, a, there's a nowhere for the runners to go. All you have to do is just step on the, step on the plate. Two outs in the inning bases are still loaded. Flex on you leading 2-0 on the bottom of the second. Carson Reyes to the plate. Reyes reached on a fielder's choice. He looks at that first one outside for a ball. One-0 pitch. In there, Up. high for a ball. Upstairs, 2-0. Bunch showed, pulls back, takes it for a called strike. It's two and one. The two one pitch is in. Grounder over to short. It should be routine. Throw down to first. He drops the ball. Can't hold on to it down there at first. Everyone's safe, gonna run across. So a couple a couple fielding errors on the, the first baseman that allowed but all three runs of the game. It's Waylon Barnes across the plate for the Lions first run of the afternoon. But just where that ball was fielded right around the second base area, nobody was there to cover second to get that force, so he elected for first on the fielder's choice and just couldn't field it cleanly. With David Salas to the plate, he had a single back in the first. Two outs still. Bases are still loaded. First pitch upstairs to Salas. 1-0 count. Latonia leading this one two to one in the bottom of the second. One zero. Chopper over to the third base side. Yoneska fields it. Steps on the third base bag for the third out. So we've completed two. Kennedy gets one. The score is now Flatonia two. Kennedy one. We'll be right back after these quick messages. 
Tonight's playoff game on the NFHS Network is produced by KTIM Multimedia in LaGrange and underwritten by Tony Jones Insurance, Oviedo Auto Dealerships, Fayette Savings Bank, JD Sports Grill, Chuck Brown Ford in Schulenburg, TFE Companies in Brenham, Colorado Valley Communications, Roundtop Real Estate, LaGrange and Giddings Family Health Centers, Roundtop State Bank, Audio Video Plus in Schulenburg, Allied Contractors in Schulenburg, Brawley Dental in LaGrange, the Schulenburg Athletic Booster Club, and HEB in LaGrange. All right, welcome back here to San Marcos. Seth Eckhart alongside Caleb Chattery tonight. Game three of this best of three series. This 2A Region 4 regional quarterfinal game. Top of the third, it's Fontonio with a 2-1 lead. Kennedy able to play one in the bottom half of the second. They did leave three on, so good job preventing anything else coming across. Four, five, six to the plate here for the Bulldogs. Camden Mosel, Reese Ramirez, and Kale Yanechka. Lots of base runners compared to the first two games. Game one, I don't think we saw a base runner until maybe late in the fourth inning, somewhere around there. It went scoreless for about yeah. three or four, so it's good to see both teams have settled in here a little bit and getting hits, getting comfortable on the base path. A lot of errors too, though. Yeah. First two games were pretty secure until the latter half of the game, but we're, we're seeing them early on here. Scoreboard shows five errors already combined, two on Fontonia and three on Kennedy, and I think I, my scoreboard confirms it as well. Bozel, first pitch, lines it foul out of play. Bozel hit by a pitch in the first inning. That one ripped out to right center. That should get down for a base hit, and it does. Bozo rounding first, heading to second. Bozo going to be in, standing up with a leadoff double to start the top half of the third. Yeah, good piece. Tower alley just perfectly. Couldn't really place it any better. Center fielder does a good job getting it on the one hop. Yeah, good piece of hitting there. We've seen Daniel Pena shaded over to that right right side a lot but that time he was playing straight away and uh, didn't hang up long enough for him to even get close to it. Early on in this series we did see a lot of issue with that one hop going over the players. I think everybody here is kind of adjusted to the turf field. So Reese Ramirez to the plate now. He looks at the first one for a call strike. Ramirez reached on an error by the first baseman. Fouls that one away, 0-2. Top of the third. Runner on second, 2-1, Flatonia. Scoreless in the first. Flatonia with two in the second. Kennedy with one in the second. The 0-2. Just a bit upstairs. One, two, count. Pitches in there, swung on and missed. He got him. First out of the inning. Ramirez goes down swinging. Kel Yaneska to the plate, right-handed batter. He flew out to center. First pitch is in there for a call strike. The 0-1 pitch in there, away for a ball. Just a tad outside there, 1-1. One one. 
Bozel standing on second after a leadoff double. Ineska looking to drive him in. Swings and misses at that one. It's one and two. The one two pitch is in low in the turf. Runner stays at second. Evens our count at two balls, two strikes. Only one out in the inning. 2 2. Grounded right into the Flat Tender Bulldog dugout. Everyone had to jump out of the way of that one. Yeah, that one came in there really quick. Everybody's saying they're okay. Count remains two balls, two strikes. One out. Here's the pitch. Upstairs, count full. Full count. Payoff pitch on the way. And then she can fouls it out. Full count, one out in the inning. Platonia leading 2-1, top of the third. Runner on second. Pitch on the way. That one lined up the middle for a base hit. Bozo rounding third, coming home. Throw home, and that's going to be a close one, but Bozo slides under the tag. It's an RBI single for Kelly Yanechka, then advance down to second on the throw home. And that's where I think his height might come into, into play there because he was fully stretched by the time he was head first sliding. It looked like it was going to be close, but he was definitely in there safe. Yeah, most definitely. Good throw, too, by the center fielder, Daniel Pena, to even uh, make that one questionable. Still only one out in the inning, and Flatonia gains another run, 3-2 now, in the top of the third inning. Yuri Manzano, 7-0 hitter to the plate. He, he singled the, back in the first. Looks at the first one for a called strike. The 0-1 pitch, nope, he's going to go for a pickoff attempt at second. He's going to lose the ball, but able to recover. Runner does not advance. Yeah, Kelly and Eskew was sliding back in, so by the time he got up, it was too late to take off. Nothing at one to Manzano. Upstairs, count even at one. Henry Vincic on deck. Pitcher steps off the mound. 1-1 one, one count. And we're going to have another time here. That one called by the batter. Ready to resume play here. One ball, one strike, one out. Runner takes his lead off a second. Pitch low, it's two and one. Definitely seems like the player and official understanding of when time is called has definitely been settled compared <laughs> to what we saw last night. That one ripped through the hole on the left field side. Ganetska down to third. It's a single for Yurio Manzano, his second of the afternoon. Puts runners on the corners with only one out in the inning still. Henry Vincic to the plate. Looks like there's going to be a meeting at the mound. Coach for the Kennedy Lions coming out to talk to him. Vincic put down a, a sack butt in the second. Right down the first base side, and the first baseman uh, couldn't field it cleanly, and Vincic actually reached, and everyone else up 90 feet. Does look like this one's just going to be a meeting at the mound. No exchange of pitchers just yet. Just Vincic. settle him down. Vincic did come around to score, too, after he reached. Sorry, what were you saying? I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, you're good. We're just, uh, well, let's see here. Looks like Coach is coming to talk to the officials. I didn't think we were going to have a pitching change, but... And now coach is going back to the mound instead of the officials. So we're going to assume for now until we see an exchange of the ball that pitcher is going to stay the same. But Platonia, yes, leading now 3-1. A little bit 
touch and go here with a couple of questionable calls and yeah, a lot of errors a already. Lot of errors, yeah. My scorebook was a little messy, but not not too bad. Nothing short of exciting, that's for sure. What was that? Nothing short of exciting. Yeah. yeah we've Good. seen a lot of. Uh, took it a little bit to get some of these games going offensively. I think on Thursday we didn't see the first run till the fifth. Meeting Last night we out. saw. I think one in the second for Antonia, and then two in the fourth. Excuse me, one in the fourth, two in the fifth, and then one in the seventh. Meeting at the mound is concluded, and we're ready to resume play again. Batter is taking his step place back in the box. Runner on first and third, one out in the inning. Pitch into Vince, it gets inside, ball one. It's like a sophomore. Found that one back. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Finds his own, sent right to second baseman. He's going to get it over to first for the out. It's going to be an RBI ground out as Kelly Yaneska comes home for third. For the first fourth run of the ball game for the Platonia Bulldogs. Dono down to second. Henry Vincic with the RBI ground out. Good job there too by the second baseman. Not to try to just get the, the one run or the one out for sure. Not try to go down to second and risk an error. Just exactly. know to get the clean play. First pitch to Keyshawn Green, just a little bit low. One ball, no strikes. Keyshawn put down a sack bunt. That one lifted out to left field. Left fielder comes in, makes the grab for the third out, but not before Fontonia. They get two runs on three hits. One man left on base. We've completed two and a half from Sam Marcus. Now Fontonia four. Kennedy won. We'll be right back. Tonight's playoff game on the NFHS Network is produced by KTIM Multimedia in LaGrange and underwritten by Tony Jones Insurance, Oviedo Auto Dealerships, Fayette Savings Bank, JD Sports Grill, Chuck Brown Ford in Schulenburg, TFE Companies in Brenham, Colorado Valley Communications, Round Top Real Estate, LaGrange and Giddinch, the Schulenburg Athletic Booster Club, and HEB in LaGrange. All right, welcome back here to San Marcos. Bottom half of the third. About to get underway. It'll be four, five, six. Ryland Reina, Owen Garcia, and Wayland Barnes to the plate. It's a 4 1 ball game with Flatonia leading Kennedy. It's game three of this regional quarterfinal series. Kennedy victorious on Thursday, 4 2. Flatonia. With the shutout last night, 5-0. Now here in the bottom of the third, 4-1. Both those early games slow to start. Runs coming later in the game, so it's good to see runners, base runners. Lots of hits, a couple errors. Yeah, Kennedy stranded two in the first, three in the second. Was able to get one across in the second, though. Beck Zimmerman back out for his... Third inning of work. First pitch. Inside called strike to Ryland Reina. Reina flew out to right field. Yeah, one. Inside, it got him on the elbow. Been hit by pitch. Lit off man on here for the Kennedy Lions.
Owen Garcia stepping in. Left-handed batter. He struck out swinging it back in the first. Pickoff attempt looked like it was going to be made, but fixed the throw. Runner on first, first pitch. Pickoff attempt actually made that time. Ran it back in time. Pretty cloudy out here today, but the, the sun's still beating down. It's about 83. Third pickoff, pickoff attempt. <laughs> Really making sure he's not going to steal on this one. Batter still awaiting his first pitch. Now it's in there. A bit outside. Ball one. Another pickoff attempt. <laughs> None of them really coming close, just trying to keep them in check, I think. Count on the batter is still one ball and no strikes. 1 0 is in. Swung on and missed. <laughs> 1 1 count to Owen Garcia. Another pickoff attempt. That one will look closer than the previous four. He is safe. 1-1 one, one count now. <laughs> now the runner's faking him down there. Pretend like he's going. Might be trying to get in his head. The 1-1 one, one is in. Outside. It's 2-1. Two balls, one strike, no outs, runner on first. Pitch on the way. Grounder right over to Bozel at third. He goes to second. Oh, throw off the line. <laughs> Throwing error on Bozel <laughs> to try to get the lead runner. Everyone safe. The throw's on the line. I mean, he's he gets it and uh, might have a chance for two. But just out of the outstretched glove of Dayton Cliff, ball goes into left field. So, no one away. Runners on first and second for Waylon Barnes, the catcher who singled in the, in the third, or excuse me, in the second inning of his first at bat. So three errors on both sides already for both teams. Two of them committed by the first baseman of Flatonia. First one was a fielding error. That one was a throwing error. You know, I like the idea of trying to get the lead runner there in a second, but, I mean, Bozo was like, Two feet off the first base bag. He could have at least step on that first one before he tried to throw down the first. Yeah, and he is a taller player, so that the stretch isn't too far as far as it would be. <coughs> Meeting at the mound. Zimmerman calls for it. Looks like they're talking to is over. Catcher makes his way back to his position. Batter waiting to get back in the box. 0-1 count when he gets in there. Runners on first and second. In the bottom of the third, Flatonia leading this one four to one. One one pitch. That one popped up. Tripping out to left field. Yuri Montano under it makes the grab. Not deep enough for either the runner on first and second. Well the runner on first can't advance without the runner on second advancing, but no one leaves and it's one away.
So LJ Barrientes to the plate. He walked in the second, his first plate appearance. First pitch from Zimmerman outside, ball one to LJ Barrientes. Barrientes was a pitcher in game one, went six and a third. That went in there for a called strike. It's one and one. Now them clouds starting to peek over the sun again. Feels better now. Time called and granted. Zimmerman steps off. One one count, one out in the inning. Runners on first and second. Time called one more time. I think the umpire that called time. time. Yeah, that one's going to be on the umpire. He's going to go over to the third base umpire. Excuse me, third base coach. Have a talk with them. The only oh, thing. Maybe the. Yeah, fans. The fans. They're talking about it still. He's. Coach is kind of waving his hands, saying, I think he can't really do much. Home plate umpire making his way back. When we come back, it'll be one ball, one strike, and one out. Lots of mind games, calling time at the the mound and calling time in the box and now the umpire <laughs> calling time. Yeah. Jose Barrientes has been at the plate for a while. Here we go with 1-1 one, one count. Here's the pitch. That one in there. Good pitch there for Beck Zimmerman. Got him with a curveball. One and two. That one lifted out to right field. Keyshawn Green coming in, makes a catch. Two away. Ryland Reyna stays where he is at second, not deep enough to tag up. So a couple flyouts. Kennedy has two away. Two outs in the inning. Raiden Reyna to the plate, eight hole hitter. That one grounded over to second. Luke Law picks it up, tossed out to Bozel. Routine for the third out. Kennedy gets no runs. No hits in the inning, a throwing error in the inning, but they, Kennedy strands two. We've completed three, it's four. One, by Tony on top, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back here to San Marcos. We've completed three. It's Vitania four, Kennedy one, getting ready for the top half of the fourth. Vitania will send Camden, Camden Bozel, no, excuse me, Beck Zimmerman, Titan Targach, and Dayton Cliff to the plate. One, two, three for the Bulldogs. Rylan Reyna back out to work for his fourth inning. Giving up two in the second, two in the third. 
after a scoreless first. Johnson City now leads Burton in game three, 2 0. That's in the second inning. Winner of this series will face the winner of that series in the regional semifinals next week. Bottom half of the region bracket already set. Mumford, Mumford defeated Harper on Thursday, two games to none. And then Shiner just wrapped up their series while Weimer. They won game two by a score of two to zero. Thursday they won seven to zero, so they sweep Weimer. We'll meet up with Mumford next week. Zimmerman into the box. Zimmerman 0 for 1. First pitch of ball. Zimmerman did reach on a walk in the first, was caught stealing. Popped out to right. Second at bat. That one grounded over to third. Should be routine. Third down to first. Oh, outstretched glove of the first baseman. Can't field it. No, that's definitely an error. I don't know if it's on the. I think that one's more on the third baseman. Yeah, the throw over there was just too short. He was, at, again, similar to that earlier play that we saw where he's full body stretched out, laying on the ground, pulled off the bag. First time he caught it, this time he wasn't able to. It's not much he can do. Does put a runner on first. Fourth error on the Kennedy Lions already. It's been a pretty clean one-two games, but this game is... Seven errors combined between the two. First pitch to Titan Targonch low. Targonch one for two. Struck out swinging in the first. And then had that two run infield single that was a kind of the controversial play to end the. Well, that thought into the second. It's a grounder over to short. It's a fielder's choice as a shortstop. Flips it over to second. Beck Zimmerman almost got to second in time, but just got beat out by a step or two. With so, one many, out. so many errors in that first base area. It's probably smarter to not make that play. You don't know what's going to happen now. <laughs> don't want to add to the errors. You got the out. First one of this inning. One away for Dayton Cliff. Top of the fourth, Flatonia leading four to one. One out, one runner on, on first base. First pitch in there for a call strike. Fastball there from Marina. That one inside, it's one to one to Dayton Cliff. One one swing and a miss upstairs. He chased that one. One ball, two strikes. Pickoff attempt. Targon's just back in time. Ball was actually dropped by the first baseman. It looked like it was a close one, but yeah, drop the ball didn't matter. One, two, that one low, skips past the catcher. Titan Targa is going to be on second easily. So a wild pitch there allows Titan Targa to get down in the scoring position for Dayton Cliff. Also evens the count at two balls and two strikes. Oh. 
That one got Dayton in the, the back, close to the head area. Hit by Second. pitch, puts a runner on first. Second hit by pitch for Ryland Reyna in this ball game. The other victim of the hit by pitch was Camden Bozel, who's stepping into the plate right now. That one made a little bit more contact than Bozel's hit by pitch. I'm sure they both stung a little bit. Runners on first and second. Both will been on base both times. Of course, they hit by pitch and then had a double in the third. That led off the third, and then he came around to score one of the two in that inning. Bozel looks at that first one for a called ball. That one ripped but right over to the second baseman of the Titan Tar guys too far off the bag. It's going to be a double play. Six, or excuse me, four, six double play to line out and then uh, toss down to second to end the inning. So no runs, no hits in the inning for Flatonia with completed three and a half. Still Flatonia four, Kennedy one. We'll be right back. Tonight's playoff game on the NFHS Network is produced by KTIM Multimedia in LaGrange and underwritten by Tony Jones Insurance, Oviedo Auto Dealerships, Fayette Savings Bank, JD Sports Grill, Chuck Brown Ford in Schulenburg, TFE Companies in Brenham, Colorado Valley Communications, Round Top Real Estate, LaGrange and Giddings Family Health Centers, Round Top State Bank, Audio Video Plus in Schulenburg, Allied Contractors in Schulenburg, Brawley Dental in LaGrange, the Schulenburg Athletic Booster Club, and HEB in LaGrange. All right, welcome back here to Sam Marcus getting ready for the bottom half of the fourth. It'll be 9-1-2 to the plate for Kennedy, and Darian Marino, Daniel Pena, and Carson Reyes. Zimmerman back out to work for the fourth inning. Only one run allowed for Zimmerman, but hasn't been a completely flawless game. Zimmerman got out of jams pretty much in every inning. Two left on in the first, three left on in the second, and two left on in the third. Yeah, 4-1 count, or 4-1 score, you wouldn't imagine that it was that close uh, whenever they get those third outs. Three hits allowed for Zimmerman. Watonia well, has had three errors. Zimmerman's only walked one. Hit one batter, and he struck out two. Leading off of the lines is number 18, Darren Moreno. Moreno digs in, struck out looking. Back in the second, in his first at bat. First pitch is in. Little inside for a ball. One oh count. Pitch is high for ball two. Zimmerman has put the leadoff guy on in all three of the previous innings. That one inside. Finds the inner part of the zone there, 2-1 count. The 2-1 pitch swung on, tipped back. Evens the count at two balls and two strikes for the leadoff batter of this inning. Two-two pitch from Beck Zimmerman. Grounder over to third. 
Diving, Kale Yonetska makes the play down to first in time. Good play there from Kale Yonetska. Yeah, full body dive at the third base position. Good grab there. Full extension and gets the gun over to first for that out. First time this series we've seen Kale Yonetska at third base. Reese Ramirez played those the first two days. But now Ramirez behind home plate and Kale Yonetska showing that he's pretty good down there at third base. There hasn't been a whole lot of action in the infield aside from base runners. A lot of the hits have gone blooped over into the shallow center and shallow right areas or way out to the outfield. First pitch to leadoff hitter Daniel Pena. Or excuse me. Yeah, Daniel Pena. He it's looked at it for a strike. Yep, 0-1 count, one out in the inning. Here's the 0-1, swung on hit over to first base. Kim to Bozel tosses over to Zimmerman in time. Bozel fields it cleanly. Zimmerman covers for the second out. Two outs quickly. Flatoni looking a little more secure in this inning. Really trying to dial those errors in. Carson Reyes has been on base both times. One courtesy of a fielder's choice, another on an error by the first baseman. Grounder over to short. Cliff can't field it cleanly. The throw, the throw off the line into the first base dugout. Yep. That'll allow Reyes to take second with that. Yeah, Bob, shortstop bobbles that one. Couldn't get a good throw over and tried his hardest to get it over to first. Bad throw and it is into the dugout, earns that. Yeah, even if that throw was on the line, I think uh, Reyes was still going to beat it out after that bobble. Yeah. Cliff. He was going to get there, but it's unfortunate that it isn't held up and keeps him at first. So runner in scoring position now for David Salas. Two outs in the inning. Runner on second. Here's the first pitch. In there for a called ball, a little outside. Salas one for two, singled in the first, and then kind of do a fielder's choice in the inning in the second. Pops that one. Yeah, very close to the uh, other side of the fence. Did that hit inside and then go over? or? Yeah, it hit the fence, but I'm going to assume that it hit the very top of it. We have no cover here in the viewing area. All the bleachers are not covered. So anything that hits that is kind of... Yeah, I didn't even look up. I didn't even think it was scary. going that far up into the chain link. Yeah, 1-1 one, one count. Time called. Time called. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runner on second. 1-1 one, one pitches in. Low, but a check swing. He's going to confer with the third base. They're going to say he, he turned. That ball was low and in the turf. Yeah, he tried to hold up. Just went too far around. It's one and two now to David Salas. Pitch on the way. Upstairs. Way upstairs. Good job from Reese Ramirez to bring that one down. Or at least a little too early, but yeah, good job. Nothing getting past him on that one. Some bugs flying around over here. 2-2 <laughs> two, two count in there. A little low for a ball. Brings our count full with two outs. Payoff pitch from Beck Zimmerman. That one beamed David Salas right on the back, right on the number. Second hit by pitch on the afternoon for Beck Zimmerman. And Kennedy keeping the inning going. They got runners on first and second with two outs. And Ryland Reyna to the plate, cleanup hitter. Reyna 0 for 1. Also was hit by a pitch. 
First pitch is in there, swung on, ripped down. Grounded to the right side of the infield, into right field for a base hit. Carson Ray is coming home. Nope, he turns around and retreats back. Probably a wise idea. Keyshawn Green got that one in pretty quickly. He definitely did. He was maybe halfway down to home before he turned around. There was a throw attempt at third, but it wasn't there just in time. That'll load up the bases now for Owen Garcia. Time called, and the catcher's going to go talk with his pitcher. So is the coach. Bases loaded with two outs in the inning. Rana doing well to help his own cause there, ripping that one into right field. Yeah, big spot here for Zimmerman. Bases loaded. It's a 4 1 ball game. Got the first two outs pretty efficiently, and then. Carson Reyes reached on an error by Dayton Cliff, the shortstop. And then David Salas was hit by a pitch. Then Ryland Reyna lined that one into right field for a base hit, and we're loaded with two outs. Made it, meeting at the mound is concluded. As you said, base is loaded. Two outs in the inning. Here's the first pitch. That one's low. Catcher gets it on the one hop. One ball. Garcia 0 for 2. Struck out looking in the first. They reached on a. It was a grounder over to the first base side. Cam DeBose will try to get the lead runner at second, but it was a throwing error. Both the guy from first, and then, of course, Owen Garcia reached safely. Looks at that next pitch for a ball. Here's the 2 0 pitch. That one's going to hit him. That's a hit by pitch. Oh. He's going to call him back to home plate umpire. I he guess he not leaned hit. in. We'll see what's going to happen here. Coach for Kennedy is going to talk this one over. I guess he leaned in. Looks like they're going to talk about it, see what, it's, what he says. It didn't look like he did too much there. Took the pitch for sure off of his knee, I'd say, somewhere in the lower half. It is not a hit by pitch. He's going to remain in the batter's box. And that should put us at a 3-0 count. I believe they have 2-0 on the board. That's sure our last count of the... We'll see what they say, but I've got it at 3-0 at the moment. That's what home plate umpire says as well. Three balls, no strikes. Bases loaded. Two outs in the inning. Latonia in the bottom of the fourth, leading this one four to one. Really trying to hold that here. Yeah, Kennedy with a scoring third here. Bases loaded. That's upstairs, and it's a four-pitch walk. So they don't get the don't get the hit by pitch call, but they get a a bases loaded walk to drive in their second run of the afternoon. It's now four-two. Latonia still leading Kennedy. Yeah, just when you think you can't, be, they can't really get any louder. The run comes across, and they, the Kennedy fans, are making sure they're heard. Waylon Barnes, the catcher, gonna come to the plate. He, had, I think, he had all his catching gear on. They had to take it off, but he's heading up to the batter's box now. Got to imagine if Waylon Barnes get a, gets a base hit here, this place will erupt. Oh yeah, definitely. So base is loaded. Two outs in the inning. You can see our, our battle camera up there shaking with the fans stomping on the bleachers. First pitch is in. Swung on, missed. Just got a piece of it. Yeah, catches the catcher's leg. He's going to need a moment here. Yeah, Reese Ramirez took down right off the look like the knee. Yeah, I bet that one did not feel good. 0-1 oh, count. Left knee shaking it off. Home plate umpire at the mound having a word with the Zimmerman. Buying some time for the catcher. Just let him shake that one off. No balls. One strike. Two outs in the inning. Bases are still loaded. Kennedy doing all that they can to try to lessen that four, now two lead. Johnson City leading 
Burton 2-0, fourth inning. Here's the 0-1 pitch. It's in there for a ball, real close to the batter. Way inside to Waylon Barnes. Time called. And home plate umpire is going to call the Flatonia coach out. And after the word that he had with the with Zimmerman at the mound, I'm going to assume that maybe he's going to have a talking to him. Hopefully, you know, nothing intentional. Home plate umpire is making his way over to the pitcher one more time to give him another word. Zimmerman pleading his case. That's the home plate umpire and the second base umpire talking to Zimmerman. Zimmerman displeased with the talking to and home plate umpire said what he needed to. And making his way back to his position. Flatonia coach back to the dugout. And now the catcher, catcher for Flatonia wanted to go talk to Zimmerman, but Zimmerman says no, he's okay. When we get back to this at bat, it's going to be one ball, one strike with two outs, bases loaded. Yeah, Zimmerman probably frustrated too that the, the umpire second time caused a little bit of delay. Zimmerman shakes off the first pitch. He'll take the second one. 1-1 one, one count. 1-1 one, one pitch coming in. That one low and away for a ball. Two balls. One strike. Good job, Reese Ramirez blocking that one for preventing it to get to the backstop. Not a long backstop here, but like we talked about it last night, it's a chain link fence, and it's going to be hard to really get like a, a good hop. Yeah. Ball kind of dies once it hits this fence. 2 1. Swing and a miss. It's going to be a big pitch here for both sides. After a slow game one, and then a slow and then eventful game two at the end and now from the very get-go yeah. eventful game three. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way chopper third base side Kelly Eska feels it steps on the third base to get the force and the Kennedy Lions are retired but they do get a run one hit or excuse me two hits two left on base with completed fours now by Tony at four Kennedy two we'll be right back. All right, welcome back here to Sam Marcus, Seth Eckhart, joined alongside Caleb Chowdhury, giving you all the play-by-play -play action on K-Time 89.1 and the live stream of this ballgame on the NFHS Network. We're in the fifth inning. It's Flatonia 4, Kennedy 2. Flatonia will send Reese Ramirez, Kelly Onechka, and Yerio Manzano to the plate. Ryland Reyna back out for... His fifth inning of work. Like I said, I don't have the official pitch counts. I haven't been keeping up, and the scoreboard doesn't have it. But I gotta imagine both pitchers are close to the the 80, 90 mark. Definitely so. And before we had ended that inning, there, I mean, we were talking about how the first game was a little bit slow, picked up near the end. Second game was slow to begin with, a little bit of a controversial ending. And then now from the very first pitch of this game has been controversial. The fans here <laughs> getting their money's worth, <laughs> enjoying their time out here in San Marcos in this series. Yeah, it's been fun too. I mean, the, we saw a couple pitchers duels in the first one. But really, I mean, the five runs from uh, last night from the pitchers of Kennedy wasn't terrible, but not, not the best outing. But Titan Targos was flawless pretty much last night. Ended up with 15 strikeouts. Very impressive. He ended uh I think he struck out the side in the fifth, sixth, and seventh. Pretty impressive. So all of the final nine outs recorded on strikeouts last night from Targets. All right, Reese Ramirez to the plate. Ramirez 0 for 2. For 
First pitch from Reyna upstairs, ball one. Hey, give it to him, Riley. Don't be scared, son. The 1 0 to Ramirez outside, ball two. Likely we'll see a relief pitcher at some point in this game. Like I said, I don't know what the pitch counts look like, but I don't know who who is available still for Kennedy. We've seen uh, they've used three. L.J. Barrientes and Daniel Pena on Tuesday last night was just Daniel Pena. No, I believe they did have a – no, Wayland Barnes came in in the sixth. So might see another Wayland Barnes outing here. Possibly. He did just close that one out. Two balls. That last one was a swing and a miss. So we're at 2 1 count. Pitch on the way upstairs. 3 and 1. That one at the eyes. We did see warming up on the Flatonia side. Current first baseman warming up. 3 1 pitches in there for a walk for balls. Flatonia's had a leadoff runner on in all five innings. In the first inning, it was a walk. Second inning, it was a single. Third inning, it was a double. In the fourth inning, it was an error. And now here in the fifth, it's a leadoff walk to Reese Ramirez. Kelly Ganetska to the plate. He's one for two with an RBI single in the third. Shows bunt. Puts him down. First base side foul. Center fielder shaded over to the right just a little bit. Big gap in left center. The 0 1 pitch is in there. Bunt shown, bunt laid down. Runner's going to get to second and the throw out at first. Good sacrifice, bunt gets his runner advanced. Raylan, Raylan Randa did a good job getting there quickly. Get the throw down. The first. Did only Ramirez safe down at second. One away now for 7 0 hitter, Yurio Manzano. He's two for two with a couple singles. Looks at that first one inside for a strike. Just catches the inside edge of the zone. Called strike. Yorio Montano would love to get another base hit, possibly drive in Reese Ramirez from second. That one outside, count even at one. One one count to number 11. One out in the top of the fifth, Flatonia leading this one four to two. One one pitch is coming in. Just foul. We just got a piece of it, fouls it back. Yeah, that one. Fouled and hits the ground and gets the underside of the catcher's leg. Back of the knee area. Doesn't huh. look too uh, too pleasant. So Ramirez take one off the knee of the last half inning. One two pitch. Excuse me, swing and goes around and misses it. Second out of the inning. Third strike out for Rylan Brena. It's a tough one to go out on. It didn't look like he committed to it. Just. Pulled the, pulled the string on him. Yeah, we haven't seen Reyna record too many strikeouts. That one only is third. Neither, neither pitcher with a lot of strikeouts. Looks like we're going to have a... Pinch runner. Yeah. Number 14, Raymond Toro coming in for Reese Ramirez. Oh. Put some speed down there at second. Keyshawn Green on deck. So if they can get... This batter on a base. We we'll have a lot of speedy players. Henry Vincic to the plate. The DH eight hole hitter. Vincic reached on an error in the second, came around to score, and then he had an RBI ground down in the second. First pitch is called. Or excuse me, in the third, he had an RBI ground down. That one finds the outside of the, the edge of the zone there, 0 1. Platonia doing their best to get another runner on. Don't leave that one stranded on second. Here's the 0 1. And one blooped out to shallow center, Daniel Pena. Come again for the third out. 
So Fontana gets no runs, no hits in the inning. One left on base. We've completed four and a half here from San Marcos. Fontana four, Kennedy two. We'll be right back. Tonight's playoff game on the NFHS Network is produced by KTIM Multimedia in LaGrange and underwritten by Tony Jones Insurance, Oviedo Auto Dealerships, Fayette Savings Bank, JD Sports Grill, Chuck Brown Ford in Schulenburg, TFE Companies in Brenham, Colorado Valley Communications, Roundtop Real Estate, LaGrange and Giddings Family Health Centers, Roundtop State Bank, Audio Video Plus in Schulenburg, Allied Contractors in Schulenburg, Brawley Dental in LaGrange, the Schulenburg Athletic Booster Club, and HEB in LaGrange. Back here in San Marcos, bottom half of the fourth, about to get underway. It'll be 7-8-9 for the Kennedy Lions. Bottom half of the, of the fifth. Oh, what did I say? Fourth. Oh, You're sorry. <laughs> we've, we've only had a couple games back-to-back. -back. Our brains are a little bit fried. And this one's nothing short of lots of going on. Yeah. <laughs> back Zimmerman right back out. LJ Barrientes, Raiden Reyna, and Darian Morena, the 789 to the plate for the Lions. We're already starting to feel nice now. Yeah. Sun kind of peaked away behind the clouds. Was hot there for a little bit. Good day for baseball. I think we've been lucky all three nights. Last night we were seeing thunderstorms and lightning way in the distance, but not nearly close enough to have to worry about the game being postponed or canceled or anything like that. Yeah, so far I'd say this is probably the cleanest week of uh, not having any storms and not having to worry about if games are going to get delayed or rained out. Or Definitely. First pitch to LJ Barrientes. Sharp hit, but grounded right over to Luke Law at second base. Start on the first in time. One pitch, one out here in the fifth inning for Beck Zimmerman. Eight hole hitter now, Raiden Reyna to the plate. Zimmerman takes his place on the mound. The first pitch is in. Kennedy fans compare, comparing Raiden Reyna's hair to Trevor Lawrence's <laughs> quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. A couple of kids out here sporting long hair. I was going to say, you and uh, <laughs> Reese Ramirez, the catcher tonight for Almost the identical Bulldogs. Almost identical, right? 1-1 yeah. Yeah. One, one now with one out in the inning. Yeah, I've let it grow for maybe a little too long. Doesn't look bad, though. Two balls, one strike. Unfortunately, I can't grow hair. I'm completely bald, you know. <laughs> Complete opposites. Contrast of hairstyles here for Caleb and I. 2-1. That oh. one short chopper to third. That's going to be gunned over to first. On the one hop, not able to get it. And he slides head first into first base, and he's safe. That was a low roller. Tough play there for your going to come in. It's going to be an infield single for Raiden Reyna. Nine hole hitter Darian Moreno to the plate. Darian 0 for 2. Struck out looking and then a grounder. Ground out to third. Upstairs, first pitch from Zimmerman. That was way high. Good yeah. job from Ramirez. Early release. Ramirez has done well all night with those ones that are going too high. Doing a good job of being a wall back there. Yeah, I haven't seen too many pass balls or wild pitches. 1-0 pitch. Finds the zone. He evens it at 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, one out. Runner on first. Latonia leading this one 4-2 in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one finds the lower outside edge of the zone there. Pretty pitch. Off speed and... One ball, two strikes now. One, two pitch from Zimmerman. Grounder to the left side of the infield. Dayton Cliff almost got it, actually. Yeah, that I, was said, I said through a little bit quickly, but Dayton Cliff laid out and 
just off the glove of him. It worked yeah. out well for him as he did outstretch and try to get a hold of it. Be just back. stops it enough to hold the runner at second. Back to back infield singles here for the Kennedy Lions. Good job from the eight and nine to turn that lineup back over now to Daniel Pena. Runners on first and second, one out in the inning. Top of the lineup stepping in. Them are more trouble. Hasn't, uh, hasn't had really any stress free innings. Only the two runs allowed, but. Bunt yeah. showed. Pulls back, and that one's a ball inside. Yeah, he hasn't had a, a break in the action. He's no, done a lot of work out there. Two stranded in the second, three stranding in the third, two stranding in the, excuse me, three stranded in the second. That one finds a dead center of the zone. One ball, one strike. And then, yeah, three in the, the fourth. One and one to Daniel Pena. Pena, one for three. One one is in there for a ball. Two one to Daniel Pena. Pitch on the way. Ran inside on him. Pena has to jump out of the way. You had mentioned last night one of the style choices of these players. Pena wearing his shorts well above his knees. You can see his knees in between his socks and pants. Pick off attempt at second. No good. He's safe. Three balls, one strike, and one out. Zimmerman's 3-1 is in for a tipped foul. Yeah, just over the third base dugout. Towards the batting cages back there. Brings our count full now. Zimmerman really wanted to prevent bases loaded again. Payoff pitch here from Zimmerman. That one blooped out to right field. It's going to be trouble, and Keyshawn Green laying out, but it gets past and rolls into right field. Center fielder comes over and gets it, but one run across the plate. It's Raiden Reyna. We got a ball game. Yeah, it's now 4-3. If you're Keyshawn Green, you just let that one bounce and uh, play it, and then probably everyone's standing on first, second, and third, but that – Lays out for it. We saw him commit that same kind of mistake yesterday. Just that one's not exactly the easiest one to get out there, lay out and secure. That one hop would have been easier. Yeah, you might have given up a run, but would have caused a lot less stress on your team. Yeah, one run double there for Daniel Pena. Flatonia four, Kennedy three. One out in the inning. Runners on second and third pitch in there. Popped high into shallow center, second base area. Three players going for it. Secured by a second baseman. It's Luke Law. Luke Law and Dayton Cliff ran into each other out there. Right around second base. Yeah, I thought that one was going to get out to shallow center, but it stayed in the infield. It looked like it was moving, but not enough. I don't think the wind held that one up. It just had a lot of arc on it. It's a big out there for Beck Zimmerman and the Bulldogs. David Salas to the plate, three-hole hitter. Wallace looking at his runners on second and third, wanting to advance them. Oh. Salas one for two. Single. Yeah, one for two. Single. Fielder's choice, and it was a hit by a pitch in the fourth. First pitch to Salas finds the outside of the zone. That is just away. Yeah, I couldn't get that one to drop back in the zone. 1 0 count. Zimmerman's 1 0. A little bit lower. That one drops, but just outside still. 2-0. Oh. Clean up hitter Ryland Reyna on deck. Salas shows bunt. I don't think he'll be bunting in this situation. Just trying to bluff him out there. Zimmerman does call time on it. What was that? Zimmerman did call time. We're back in the 2-0 pitch. That one finds the zone. Two balls and one strike. Here's the 2-1. 
That one low. Three balls, one strike now. The go-ahead run on second base to take the lead back. Solace looking to drive in a couple with a base hit. Fouls that one down the third base side out of play. Third baseman gives chase, but he's not getting anywhere near that one. Gets to the fence. There is large foul zones on either side of that foul line here in San Marcos. If I had to guess, about 30 feet. It's a good amount, yeah. Full turf field here, the only part that's not. And his actual dirt is the pitcher's mound. Full count pitch. Pitch upstairs, it's a walk. The base is loaded again for Beck Zimmerman. We're gonna have time called by the Flatonia coach. Pitching coach, I believe it is. Go out there and talk to him. Might be the end of the line for Zimmerman. It's possible, we'll see if there's a trade of the baseball here. Not yet, no, he's just gonna talk to him. Coaches and some of the players making their way out from the dugout on the Kennedy side talk to the batters and the base runners. Yeah, everyone knows how crucial this batter is. 4-3 lead for Flatonia. <laughs> Cleanup hitter Ryland Reyna, the pitcher tonight for the Kennedy Lions. Do up. Pretty good series. Yeah. Been exciting. Looks like the Flatonia coach makes his way back to the dugout. Zimmerman. Got his information, his direction. Try to get out of this inning, not giving anything else up. The good thing here, you got to play at every base, anywhere in the infield. We've already seen them take a force out at home before, so if they need to do it again, they will. But yeah, anywhere will work. All right, Salas. Excuse me, Reyna in. Batting from the right-handed side. Reyna last at bat able to get something into the shallow right field area. Grounder that got past the first baseman. First pitch from Reyna upstairs. The last two games of this series we saw Reyna kind of get pitched around. Not a whole lot given to him. Lots of walks for him. Yeah, later in the game, the last night, Targats were starting to attack him, and uh, Reyna got exposed. I think he struck out both the, his last two at-bats. That one finds his own. Good nice curveball. Yeah, good breaking ball there. One, one. That one way down and out. Good job there from Reese Ramirez to keep that one in front of him. Two balls and one strike, two outs in the inning. Loaded bases. Definitely got to be careful here with the big Ryland Reyna at the plate. 2-1. Foul back. Huge pitch here. Balls, two strikes, and two outs. Base is still juiced. Zimmerman steps off. Big pitch here for the batter. Pitch on the way from Zimmerman. That one lifted out to left center. Yuri Manzano giving chase. And it drops all the way to the wall. Titan Targas gets it back in. And it's a two run double. For Ryland Reyna and the Kennedy Lions take the lead 5 4. Wow, good piece of hitting there. That one ripped deep left center. <laughs> I'm almost yelling here, and you can't hear me. That's how loud it is. Yeah, Uriel, Uriel Matano almost got there just a couple feet off of it. And big hit there for Ryland Reyna and the Kennedy Lions. And they gained the lead, and that's the end of the night for Beck Zimmerman. Darian Moreno in to score, and Daniel Pena in to score. David Salas now at third, and Ryland Reyna down at second. So we'll 
We'll give you the defensive substitutions when we come back after this break. All right, welcome back here to San Marcos. We got a pitching change for the Flatonia Bulldogs and a relief of Beck Zimmerman. It's Camden Bozel. Bozel sporting. Uh, sorry, came from the ERA. I just had it. Bozel was at first base. Also continued there for the first game, second game. Now pitching. First time that we'll see him in this series. All right, Bozo with the 3.32 ERA. He's pitched uh, 12 and two-thirds for the Bulldogs. Struck out 19, across 54 batters faced. So the defensive changes now, there's a good amount of them in the, the infield. So Beck Zimmerman will go from the mound to behind the dish. Reese Ramirez will go from catcher to third base. Yonechko will go from third base to shortstop, or excuse me, second base. And Luke Law from second to first. Dayton Cliff stays at short, and then the outfield remains the same. Five to four, Kennedy leading this one now in the bottom of the fifth. Big inning for the Kennedy Lions. Yeah, they played it three already, looking to do some more damage. They got runners at second and third with two away. And Owen Garcia steps in, five-hole hitter. Garcia one for three. Bozel's first pitch in there low and away. The ball one. Bozel, a pretty tall young man at the mound. 1-0 pitches in there, in the dirt. Almost hits home plate. Two balls, no strikes. Also, Class 2A Regional Semifinal, Shiner versus, versus Mumford. It's going to be a best of three series at LaGrange High School. Game one is at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Game two and three, if needed, is at 4 p.m. on Saturday. 2-0 pitch, that one finds the zone. 2-1 to Owen Garcia. Big spot, big spot for Bozel to come in here with runners on second and third. Yes, sir. Swings and just gets a piece of that one, does Owen Garcia. Bozel doing a good job working the count back in his favor. Ties it up at two balls, two strikes. I imagine we're going to have a lot of drama still here with the final. Oh, yeah, we got we got a couple 13 more. 13 outs, yeah. <laughs> That one lifted out to right field. Pretty well hit. Keyshawn Green giving the chase. Wow, excellent grab. Did Full he make extension. That? He made the grab. No, I don't think he did. The oh, ball got he down. Did go through. Yep, and, you're right. My bad. And two runs in. From my angle, it looked like it hit his glove. I saw it. It must have tipped it. Yeah, he definitely made a great attempt at it. Laid out and tumbled a couple times. And wow. Just not just not enough. And uh, David Salas and Ryland Reyna come in to score. And it's... Five here in this inning. It's now 7-4, Kennedy on top. Courtesy of a two-run single from Owen Garcia. That was a long single. Very, yeah. Target did a good job of backing uh, Keyshawn Green up there. Not allowing Owen Garcia to 
get any more than one bag. In the bottom of the fifth, Kennedy, the home team leading now 7-4 to four against the Flatonia Bulldogs. Two outs in the inning, and Kennedy doing well to just keep bases occupied. Runner on first. Really the first part of the this series that we've had numerous back-to-back -back hits. First one is called strike. The inning was led off with a ground out, and then Raiden Reyna, Darian Moreno reached on infield singles, and Daniel Pena drove in them two with RBI's double. The 0 1 pitch is in. That one's away for a ball. Well outside. Evens our count at one ball, one strike. That one low and away. Two balls, one strike. We got another game back here in San Marcos pretty soon. Not sure if we'll be covering it yet, but I'm sure we're going to submit for it. It's a UIL 1A Region 4 Baseball Finals, the Hennis versus Fayetteville three-game series, Tuesday, May 30th at 7 p.m. here in San Marcos High School. Game 2 is on Thursday, June 1st, 7 p.m. at Texas State University. And if Game 3 is needed, that is Friday, June 2nd, 7 p.m. also at Texas State. Two and two count to Waylon Barnes. Both are looking to get out of this. Pitch on the way. Just a bit outside. Count full. Slatonia doing their absolute best to get out of this inning. Trying to not let anything else advance on the base path and definitely no more runs. Yeah, five across the plate. Already here. Full count Runner pitch. goes, pitch, wow. I don't know where that one missed. Gets a bit outside, it's ball four. The inning's still alive, we batted around now, back to LJ Barrientes. This series between these two teams is definitely not one that we think you'd see players bat around. They've been pretty <laughs> neck and neck through the first two games, so this one's Kind of breaking open here, and Flatonia really needing to settle in and get out of this inning. Yeah, bottom bottom part of the lineup here is seven seven old hitter. <laughs> Bozel really finding that lower outside part of the zone, but just not quite able to make it every single time. That one's outside for a ball. One zero. -oh. Some of them are close too, not getting the call that time he gets it on the outside yeah. part of the zone. He likes that lower away part. Evens us up at one ball, one strike. One one outside. Two balls, one strike. Two outs in the inning, runners on first and second. Camden Bozel a senior. That one inside. Called ball. 3 1. Bozel trying to get this out here and get out of the inning. 3 1 pitch on the way. That one's inside as well. Ball four. That's a walk. Bases loaded once again in the same inning for Kennedy. Back to back walks. The guy that got the, the rally going, Raiden Reyna, is back to the plate. He reached on an infield single. With one out in this fifth inning. Bozo's first pitch is in. And he's taken all the way on that one. That's a ball. Ball mishandled there on the throw back to the pitcher. Nobody advances. Bases are loaded still. It would take a big error like that for anybody to really be brave enough to leave third. That one finds the zone. One ball, one strike. Raiden was taking all the way on that one. One, one low and away again. Two balls, one strike. Here's the two, one pitch. 
Swung on, hit. That's oh, a slow Another stopper. slow roller. He get... Bruce Ramirez fields it and throw down to Luke Law at first in time to end the inning. But Kennedy, they get five on one, two, three, four, five hits. Two walks in the inning. They strand three. We've completed five from Sam Marcus. It's now Kennedy seven, 524. We'll be right back. Tonight's playoff game on the NFHS Network is produced by KTIM Multimedia in LaGrange and underwritten by Tony Jones Insurance, Oviedo Auto Dealerships, Fayette Savings Bank, JD Sports Grill, Chuck Brown Ford in Schulenburg, TFE Companies in Brenham, Colorado Valley Communications, Roundtop Real Estate, LaGrange and Giddings Family Health Centers, Roundtop State Bank, Audio Video Plus in Schulenburg, Allied Contractors in Schulenburg, Brawley Dental in LaGrange, the Schulenburg Athletic Booster Club, and HEB in LaGrange. All right, back here to San Marcos is a big bottom half of the fifth for Kennedy. They played it five, and they now lead it by three runs. Ryland Reyna back out to work for the sixth inning. Montonio backs against the walls. They're down to their final six, out, final six outs. They need to get something going. It'll be 9-1-2. Keyshawn Green, Beck Zimmerman, and Titan Targats to the plate. Platonia able to get four hits earlier in the game, so they can hit the ball off of Rania. Just need to get those base runners on and advance them. Very show-out inning for Kennedy there. It really made something happen. Yeah. After going nothing in the bottom of the first, scoring one in the first, nothing in the third, Scoring in the fourth, and then five in the fifth. Now leading this one, Kennedy is seven to four in the top of the sixth. Final warm-up pitches being taken here. Keyshawn Green coming up to bat. Keyshawn making his way over to the batter's box. Here's a throw down to second for the last warm-up pitch. Home plate umpire making his way to his spot. We're just about ready to stop the top of the six. Start the top of the six. Keyshawn 0 for 2 tonight. Or this afternoon, I should say. Keyshawn only with... One hit in the series. All right, Keyshawn ready. First pitch from Reyna. That one ground or lifted out to center field. Right to, well not right to Daniel Pena, but he shades over a couple feet. Makes the play. One pitch, one out. Yeah, if he's playing that shaded right position, ran over to dead center, a little hop for him, not the ball. He jumped up in the air and grabbed that one. Scared it made it look out. more flashier than it needed to be, I guess. Beck Zimmerman back to the top of the lineup, digs in. He's 0 for 2, Reese on a walk. Takes first pitch, strike. That one grounded over to second. Field it cleanly, throw down to first in time. 4-3 ground out. Two away. Now Titan Targots. Targets one for three. Two run single back in the second. Johnson City opens up that game with 
Barton there now leading at 6-0. That's in the sixth inning. Nothing in one, two, Titan targets. That one flat out to right field. Should be routine for the right fielder. And it is. Makes the grab for the third out. It's a three up, three down inning for Ryland Reyna. We head into the home half of the sixth. Kennedy seven, by 20 to four. All right, welcome back here to Sam Marcus, bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be one, two, three for the, or excuse me, nine, one, two for the Kennedy Lions. Darian Moreno, Daniel Pena, and Carson Reyes. Both will back out to work. Came in a relief of Beck Zimmerman in the bottom of the fifth with two outs. Here, you just want three quick outs and go into the top half of the seventh. Hopefully, you can get something going as they're trailing three runs, seven to four. First pitch from Bozo inside to Darian Moreno. Moreno, one for three. That one in there for a strike. Zimmerman dropped it, but still a strike. One on one. Swing and a miss. Marino chases that one low. One and two. One two pitch from Bozel. Swing and a miss. Try to check it. Peeled down to first. He went. Strike out for Cam to Bozel here to start the bottom of the sixth. To the top of the lineup, Daniel Pena takes ball one from Camden Bozel. Pena two for four. That one in there for a called strike. That breeze has died down a little bit and the sun's back out. Cloud's not helping so much. Pena with a huge RBI double back in the fifth. Chops that one foul. Part of the five-run frame last inning for the Kennedy Lions. Good pitch there from Bozel, just a bit outside. It's two and one. Excuse me, two and two. Two-two pitch, grounder over to the left side of the infield. Cliff can't field it cleanly. Daniel Pena reaches on a on a E6. Seen errors a lot tonight from Flatonia. That's five. Mm -hmm. 
Carson Reyes now to the plate. He's over for Takes called strike one from Camden Bozel. Grounder to the left side, gets past diving Risa Maris and then off the glove of Dayton Cliff again and everyone's safe. Those infield errors just doing work on Flatonia right now. That one a little tougher play there. Yeah. I think that one's an infield hit. A hit and an error puts a runner on first and second base. Kennedy looking for another one out rally. First pitch to David Salas, three hole hitter. Outside, ball one. Salas, one for two. Single, also hit by a pitch and walked. Another one outside, two and oh. Bozel throws it well, just a little inconsistent with finding his spot. 2-0, that one low. Good job there for Beck Zimmerman to block that one. Zimmerman started the first two games catching all the way through, and he's done a great job behind the plate. Kennedy no stranger to the three-game series in this, in this 2023 playoffs. First two series were three games each for them. By district against Aqua Dulce. And last week against Ganado. 3 0 pitch in there, looked at for a called strike. 3 1 count. And here's the pitch. That one just high and away. Framed well, but it is a ball. Walk and bases once again loaded for the Kennedy Lions. And Rylan Reyna. Clean up hitter to the plate. Seems to thrive in the, the uh, bases loaded situation. He's, uh, he's two for three. Single in the fourth and a two-run double in the fifth. Yeah, Kennedy's had traffic really all game. Last week they finally were able to put it through. That's an infield pop. Luke Law and Kelly and Eska come in together. I think Luke Law came down with that one. I think so. That one was a little bit scary to watch both players going for the ball, not really looking at each other. But that is a secure out. Two in the inning. What you want though, if you're fly turning, keep it in the infield and get the out. Now two away, Owen Garcia. He had a big two run double in the fifth. Two run single in the fifth, excuse me. Had an RBI walk as well in the fourth. He's driven at three tonight. First pitch strike. He was Bozel's first batter back in the last inning. Oh one just outside. One ball, one strike. Two outs in the inning and bases loaded. I think the Kennedy Lions have seen this before. Yeah. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Swung on, chopped foul to the Over first base. Dug up. One ball, two strikes. One, two. Just a bit outside there. Two balls and two strikes, two outs. Base is still juiced here. Bottom of the sixth and the seven four ball game with Kennedy leading. Pitch on the way from Bozel. Swing and a miss. Good off speed pitch. Pitch dropped. That retires the Lions here. They have bases loaded, but they strand them. With completed six, it's uh, Flatunda's last chance in the top of the seventh. They're trailing 7-4. We'll be right back.
All right, back to the action here from San Marcos. Top half of the seventh, last chance for the Flatonia Bulldogs. They head into this inning trailing 7-4. It'll be up to Dayton Cliff, Camden Bozel, and Reese Ramirez. They want to keep their season alive. Ryland Reyna back out for his seventh inning of work. Had a really efficient last inning. I think he threw less than uh, 10 pitches, and uh, that was huge. Definitely a quick three up, three down. Kennedy Lions would like to end this one here. They are the home team. They just need the three outs. Cliff steps in. He's 0 for 1. Walked in the first. It was hit by a pitch in the fourth. First pitch from Reyna in there for a called strike to Dayton Cliff. Part of the lineup for the Bulldogs. Chance to. That one popped up. Shallow right field. Right fielder coming in. Oh, it drops. Nope, nope, it hits his glove and it, did it hit the ground? Yeah, it, it dropped it then. And that right field area is tough for me to see with all this uh, traffic in between us. Don't matter how you get on, but you get on. and uh, He did get on. That's what you needed if you're Flatonia. Wasn't a pretty hit off the, the bat of uh, Dayton Cliff, but nonetheless, it's a hit. Came to Bozel now. Bozel, one for two, had a double in the third. Would really like to help his own cause here, try to lessen that four to seven deficit. Runner takes his lead, chopped foul. That one's way out of here, back behind us. No balls, one strike. Runner on first, no outs in the inning. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swung on, ripped into left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Dayton Cliff with some speed, and he's going to come around second. He's going to be into. Third sliding, and then Camden Bozo in at second, and the Flatonia Bulldogs are in business here. Not going away quietly. Third base coach, very, very making himself very know that he needed to slide. Coach laid down on the ground to let him know slide into this one. Runners on second and third. The go, excuse me, the tying run at the plate, meeting at the mound now. Tying run is Reese Ramirez. The most important thing is the wind has died down completely. The flags are almost still oh, out yeah. there. And, uh, now, Bruce Ramirez looks like he might have a little pop in his bat, but it's still tough to, I mean, hit a home run. But Oh, definitely, yeah. A little easier than it was to do it in the, the first, what, five or six. I don't know when the wind stopped, but now it's yeah, completely, completely we've, dead. We've completed two games. We've only seen maybe one or two hits that have really looked like they were going deep, deep into the outfield, but that fence out there just I recall Reese Ramirez did hit one that was about 10 or so feet off that wall out there in left field, ended up bouncing off the wall. Yeah, and the bounce out there in the outfield is large, so we thought that one might even go up for a two-run. Swings at the first one, foul tips it off the catcher. Latonia mounting a comeback here. Trailing three, no outs. They got runners on second and third. Tying run at the plate. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Inside part of the zone, it finds it. 0-2. Montana got two in the second, two in the third, and then it was scoreless in the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Like you said, Kennedy, no stranger to the three-game series and going the full three, so that's really showing out here. The 0-2 from Reyna. Slow roller. Foul ball. I guess it hit off the, the plate. I guess so. Or maybe. Yeah, it hit off his foot. He's limping a little bit on his way back. I have two hot dogs and a hamburger. Y'all just want them? Y'all can have them if you want them. For sure. Mm -hmm. I'll take a hot dog. <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Offer food here. Lady. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Session stand lady came over and offered us a hamburger and a hot dog. <laughs> Can't say no to that, right? Yeah. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed one before the game started. Was it pretty good? It was pretty good. 0-2. Swung on. That one's right back to the pitcher. 
safe play by holding on to the catch. Got the out. Almost wanted to gun it over to third, but he didn't. Probably the better play. You don't know if there's an error that could happen there. Got the out. Yeah, good, good job from uh, Dayton Cliff not getting too far off that bag and getting back in time because you yeah. don't want to get doubled up. That one didn't come off the bat too hot, but easy grab at the mound. Kill, kill Yanetska. Swings at the first one. That one goes straight to second base, but an easy out at first. One run will come across. Runner advances to third. RBI ground out for Kale Yanetska. And the Bulldogs are down to their final out here. Top of the seventh, and Kennedy leading this one seven to five. Flatonia with a runner on third. Only one out to go, as Seth had mentioned. It's up to Yurio Manzano. Manzano two for three tonight, a couple singles. Manzano at the plate, signifying the tying run. Basel at third, representing the sixth. First pitch in, swung on, and missed. I had my cousin text me, he said, I hope that hot dog is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to know he's listening. I'll let you know after the game, Blaine. Oh, one, swung on, goes to the shortstop. Throw down to first. In time, and that's the ball game. And that's the series. Kennedy victorious 7 5 in this one, and they take the series two games to one over the Flatonia Bulldogs, and they'll advance to the regional semifinals. Tough way to go out for Flatonia, but nonetheless, a good series and a good year for the Bulldogs. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be back to wrap this one up here from San Marcos. All right, welcome back here to San Marcos, wrapping this one up once again. Victorious for the Kennedy Lions, 7-5.
over the Flatonia Bulldogs. They take the series two games to one, and they'll head into the regional semifinals next week. They're one of the only four teams still left playing here in this region four, two A. It was a complete game for Ryland Reyna. He went the whole whole seven. I'm sure he was really close to that pitch count of 110, but uh, nonetheless was able to get a, a complete game. He gave up uh, the two in the second, two in the third, and then uh, scoreless four, five, six, and then the, the one here in the, the seventh. Good job, two in the seventh. He gave up a single and a double to lead off and was able to get out of a little bit of a jam. And uh, they were victorious. So let's look at some of the – Stars tonight for the Kennedy Lions offensively. Uh, Daniel Pena, he was uh, solid. He had two hits, one of them being an RBI double. Carson Reyes reached three times, all courtesy of uh, errors, fielder's choice. Actually, one was an infield single. David Salas was on base four times, two walks, a single, and a hit by pitch. Ryland Reyna, he, uh, he reached three times. He had a single and then RBI double. That was part of that big five-run seventh, or excuse me, five-run sixth. Uh, excuse me, five-run fifth. I'm yeah, sorry. Five in the five. And then Owen Garcia, he had he drove in three RBI walk in the fourth, and a two-run single in the fifth. And then the bottom half of the lineup, it was uh, Waylon Barnes, Raiden Reyna, and Darian Moreno, all with three, or excuse me, one hit apiece. Those were the stars for. The Lions, let's look at. Here, Seth, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go try to grab Coach for an interview. So, Okay, sounds good. We're ready for break. We'll look at uh, the stars for the Flatonia Bulldogs hitting, lay, hitting wise. Uh, they only had six hits uh, spread out between uh, Dayton Cliff. Dayton Cliff had a single that was here in the seventh. Uh, Titan Targot, she had a two run single that was in the second. Then came to Bozel. He was uh, two for four, two doubles. Came around to score one. And Kelly Anetchka drove in a couple, uh, one RBI single and the other RBI ground out. Uriel Manzano was two for four as well, a couple singles. And then Henry Vincic had an RBI ground out. Yeah, that's uh, the scoring for for both sides. Ryland Randall once again went the complete game, six hits. There was four errors on the Kennedy Lions, but they didn't end up coming back to cost them too much. If I turned out, they, uh, they had five errors in the, the game that – Came back to haunt them a little bit, but uh, nonetheless, great season for the Bulldogs. They finish at I believe it was 24 and seven in the regional quarter finalist. Be tough for them, but uh, they got to bounce back and uh, still got still got some opportunities to uh, make runs. They got a lot of a lot of sophomores. So there were a few seniors that are graduating, but uh, I expect them to uh, be around for years to come. Still, we'll take a quick break, and I think Caleb's going to try to grab coach of the. Kennedy Lions. We'll be right back.
All right, welcome back here to San Marcos. We're here with the head coach of the Kennedy Lions, Gilberto. Sorry, what was your last name? Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Congrats on the the win Appreciate and uh, on to the regional semifinals. It's, uh, it was a tough series. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. this is your third uh, time in this playoff since you've been in a three game series. Talk about the the grit of your team. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, I can't say enough about our boys. Uh, you know, they're just very resilient. Uh, great group of kids. Uh, we're very young, and the experience they're getting is uh, is going to be very valuable for them in the future. We got four freshmen. Three sophomores and three juniors. We only got one senior, so uh, you know this experience they're getting is uh, is going to be something that they're going to be able to use in the in the future for sure. You had a good outing on Thursday from L.J. Barrientes. Yeah. Uh, last night, offensively, won the won the best showing, but you were able to bounce back here. Talk about your pitching, really, all series. Yeah, I mean, L.J.'s been that guy for us. I mean, right now, he's I don't want to jinx him, but he's three and zero in the playoffs. I mean, he's he's gotten in there on elimination games, and the last two series, he's done a great job. Uh, we knew that pitcher from Flatonia was, was going to be the real deal. He's probably the best pitcher we've seen all year. Uh, just a, a heck of a job. And my hat's off to them. they got a great group of kids over there. They're coached very well. Uh, they're a class act. So my hat's off to uh, Flatonia as well. Um, our pitching, I mean, we knew that we have three or four guys who can go up there and throw strikes and, and do what we need them to do. Uh, today we put it in the hands of our senior, uh, Ryland Reyna. He's been doing this for four years. So, you know, we felt very comfortable coming in, even when it seemed uh, bleak. Uh, if we're down four to one. We knew we just get our composure, get the sticks going, that we, we would be okay. Yeah, heading into that fifth year trailing, uh, yeah, four one or excuse me, four two. Mm -hmm. You got the five runs. Uh, talk about uh, that that big fifth inning. You uh, scored five. You know, um, we just try to be patient at the plate. We preach it every day. You know, uh, look for your pitch. You know, don't get anxious up there. You know, stay uh, you know stay inside the baseball. Um, you know, st stuff that we preach at practice every day, and and they know what to do. We're, we're at that point of the season where you know they don't know it by now. They ain't, they ain't gonna know it. You know what I mean? But so uh, the kids have done a great job responding. Uh, I feel comfortable calling whatever I call. I know they're going to execute. So, you know, my, my hat's off to, you know, our kids. They, they do a great job. I can't say enough about them. So next time you're heading into the regional semifinals, I think the last one I looked, it was Johnson City 6-0 over Burton. I think that was the sixth inning, but I'm uh, not sure what the final was on that. Whoever you faced, uh, what's, the, what's the game plan going into that one? You know what? Uh, if you would have told me back when this season started that we'd be going back to the fourth round, I, I would have told you you're, you're a little crazy. So I'm going to enjoy this with the kids. I didn't even looked at Johnson City yet. I know they're really good. Obviously, they got some pitchers. Uh, but I'm going to enjoy this with the kids, and I'll worry about Johnson City tomorrow. Right now, I just want to go in and celebrate with our boys. Of course. We won't hang you around here too long. Uh, once again, uh, congratulations on the, the win. And, appreciate uh, it. Good luck the rest of the playoffs. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Thank you so Be much. Be safe coming back yes, to sir. Kennedy. Thank you, Coach. All right, that was head coach of the Kennedy Lions, Gilberto Gonzalez. And uh, take another quick break, and we'll be right back here from uh, San Marcos to put a final wrap-up on this one. All right, excuse me, it's just uh, the no more breaks in. But, but yeah, once again, uh, Kennedy takes this series two games to 1-4-2 on Thursday. Uh, they fell 5 nothing yesterday, and they take game 3-7-5. They'll head into the regional semifinals. That wraps it up here for us at San Marcos. I'm Seth Eckhart, joined alongside Caleb Chattery. Back at the studio on the board, executive producer, John Askins. For all of us here on K-Time and uh, watching on the NFHS Network, I'm saying uh, have a good night and we uh, look forward to seeing you in the future games and the playoffs. joining us on K-Time. This sports broadcast is underwritten by Fayette and Giddings Family Health Center, Jones Insurance Services, the Oviedo dealerships, DFE Company, Fayette Savings Bank, JD Sports Grill, Colorado Valley Communications, Round Top Real Estate, Raleigh Dental, the Round Top State Bank, Chuck Brown Ford, Reader's Heating and Air Conditioning, and Allied Contractors. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you at the ballpark.